Um, well, it's in my book, the whole recipe. It's very simple and... Um, so I can certainly tell you where to get the book. Um, you can also get it from me too, the, yeah. the toner. And um, but also, if you get yourself, uh, a, I don't know. I the trouble is I haven't really looked too far around the health food stores here to see what's available in the way of toners, and because you don't want things that have got a lot of junk in either. No, no. Um, but you want something that has definitely has some witch hazel in, which helps to cut the, some of the grease. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but w what we'll do at the end of the hour, Carol, uh, as always, uh, we'll put out all the details so you can get hold of the book and everything else. Okay, thanks very much anyway, and Thank thanks, you. Alex, a lovely show. Thanks, uh, Carol. Uh, good to hear from you. It is, well, oh, halfway point of this hour. It's, it's gone ever so quick already. 11.28 on The Late Show, and we're doing skincare for the first time. And my guest is uh, Jan Benham, and she's taking your calls and emails. It's 0845 303 9303. Three, and you can email me alex.trelinsky at bbc.co.uk not to bore to death my regular listeners I've lost a, a third of my body weight in the last 14 months and from having very greasy skin and greasy hair virtually gone Oh, I met, I met, so again, that's just a diet that's right that, that's, that's a diet yeah. very, no, I've, I've dumped six stone in the last 14 oh, months or so. Congratulations. So, no, no, Super. No, there you go. I won't bore everybody with that one again, but it, it just shows actually you feel differently mm -hmm. in terms of the way the skin reacts and everything mm -hmm. else. So diet does play a part. Yeah. Uh, Susan Kidderminster has uh, rung in and she just wants you, Jan, to recommend something for Hope. She just suffers from extremely dry skin. Okay. So uh, what's very good for very dry skin? Now, is this um, a water um, dry skin or lack of oil? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Well, first of all... Just extremely to... dry skin, period. Okay. First of all, you want to make sure you've got enough water in your diet. And most people, and unfortunately a lot of women, do not have enough fat in their diet either. So definitely taking a, a spoon of flaxseed oil every day seems to help some people with dry skin. That's internally. Now, externally, uh, what helps extremely dry skin is calendula oil and avocado oil. And if that's mixed into a cream... So if you make a cream of yourself and then add a few drops of calendula oil or avocado oil, that will certainly help to alleviate the dryness. Also carrot, or carrot as well, carrot root. Back to carrot it's again. It's beautiful for very dry skin as well. The double duty on the water, mm -hmm. the, just the medical one, is we all don't drink enough water anyway, and that has medical benefits. Uh, it, it helps clean out the system, uh, That's to, right. uh, to put it uh, nicely, uh, along as the skin benefits as well. So mm -hmm. you can't lose. No. Uh, 0845 303 9303, alex.trelinsky at bbc.co.uk. If you want to talk skincare with Jan Benham, come on. We want a fella to ring up as well. That'd be quite good. Uh, Claire sent me an email. Enjoying your show tonight. We're doing something wrong then, Claire. I have a question about spots. I'm age 35. I've had problems with spots as long as I can remember. I was prescribed Dianet mm -hmm. by my doctor. But I've been told I can no longer have it. The Dianet worked. But now I'm back to large spots on my face, chin, cheeks, and scalp again. Mm. I've also tried antibiotics and lots of different facial products. Is there anything else I could do? First of all, um, sorry, uh, the name? Claire. Claire. Uh, okay, Claire. Uh, the first thing you want to do, that's in, uh, those spots are inflammation, inflammatory spots, it seems like. And you want to get the inflammation down. And the spots are generally like, it's almost like having a little bit of a... Like having um, a bit of congestion in there and it's causing inflammation, so it's causing swelling. So you need to get that out. And one of the ways is to, would be to go to somebody who specializes in skincare and who actually can do extraction because those spots need to, I, I hate to say this on the air, but it needs to be extracted and then needs to be calmed down. Mm. So she really probably needs treatment as opposed to just putting creams on or anything like that. And if she had regular treatments, and that would be like once a week for a little while, then it would eventually calm down and she could handle it herself. But she needs to go to someone who really knows how to handle the skin. Okay, so she needs to kick start, and mm -hmm. then uh, once it's mm -hmm. all working, off it yeah. goes. Okay, yeah, Claire. Oh, we've got a mail caller in a few wow. minutes' time. Uh, meanwhile, we go to the BBC Radio Nottingham area for our next caller, Edith in Bobbers Mill. Edith? 
Hello, Alex. Hello, Hello Edith. Jan. Hello. Um, may I ask you, it's for, uh, on behalf of someone else, actually, uh, who has uh, alopecia, is there anything new to you? Unfortunately, nothing. Um, no. uh, the only thing that does seem to help with alopecia is rosemary essential oil. Um, putting, I usually put that in, you could try that, putting a few drops of rosemary essential oil. You can get rosemary essential oil at health food stores. Mm-hmm. And putting a few drops of that into some witch hazel and spraying it on the area, massaging the area, and have a try at that first yeah um because that can sometimes help very good but everyone's an individual of course yes of Mm -hmm. course okay then Okay. okay, Edith, thank you very much indeed. That's Edith in Bobber's Mill, 0845 303 903. Alex. at bbc.co.uk if you want to join us on the programme. And Jan is with us until midnight, uh, taking your calls and uh, comments, uh, making the the point about the blokes are, are, are the blokes getting a bit more conscious about this oh yes uh, the, the or, or don't want to talk about it in public but actually on the on the quiet they are far more interested well in toronto they're definitely getting more interested we have as many male clients coming in now for treatments for facials and skin products and taking well, care would you believe men. that mm-hmm. would you believe that that's quite a turnaround. yes why well they're noticing first of all it doesn't uh, sound very macho does it yeah, but, but it's, no, it's not macho having a lot of spots either. And mm. mm-hmm. So they're getting to the benefits. It's also very pleasant to have a facial treatment, to have a massage on your, on you know, on your shoulders and face as well. So they're enjoying the treatment as well as having a benefit for the skin, and also they're learning and they're realizing more and more. Now there's a lot of men, male products on products specifically designed for men on the market. I, I found uh, th- this is this is this is the old uh, trick. The men's products always cost more than the ladies' uh, products, and I've been told uh, just get the ladies' products, put up with the fancy handbag because it's cheaper. I've been told that at a number of well-known shops. Well, yes. Um, I, I specifically, for example, with my products, I make it all. Oh yeah, yours. Made. But I'm talking about. <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, the, the, ge- the general products, the men's products, are a rip-off. Well, of course, they're going to they're gonna try and get you one way or the other. But yes. you don't pay as much for haircuts as women do either. Mm-hmm, I don't know. <laughs> don't know about that one. I'll tell you about my hairdresser later on. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go quickly. And talking of hair and problems with the head, here's Seamus in Shrewsbury. Okay. Hello, Seamus. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. We managed to get a tenuous link over to you. <laughs> anyway, Seamus, what, what's your question? Um, but basically, um, it's a scalp problem mm. mm-hmm. where um, it comes out as sort of dandruff mm-hmm. on, on my shoulders and things, but um, occasionally it gets quite bad and uh, it sort of, you, you get sort of scabs on, on your head yeah. and things sort yes. of near, near the nape of your neck. Mm-hmm. and stuff like that so, yeah. and it's generally if I'm stressed or that kind of thing Yeah. No, so I've recently shaved my head and it's kind of growing back now mm-hmm. um, and it was quite embarrassing just after I'd done it because there were big sort of red yeah. blotches really so alright I have a recipe that's actually in the book but I'll, I'll give it to you right now um, mm. is rosemary the use of cedar, uh, rosemary cedar wood and juniper berry essential oils it really helps to cut down dandruff right. and again what you could put that into like shampoo if you can get a natural unscented shampoo yep um and, or even a regular shampoo and put it in. Of course, the problem is the chemicals sometimes cause the dandruff too. Right, so rosemary, cedar, cedar wood, wood, and juniper berry, juniper into, berry. into shampoo. Okay. And it seems to help. And you can also even spray in, as I said, um, I've got a hair tonic in the book, um, which includes uh, basically distilled water, and uh, or you can use rose water and witch hazel. You can actually put it in a spray bottle, if you can get a spray bottle, and put the drops in there and then spray it on your hair. And it really helps with um, with scalp problems like that. And also that the help with the stress as well and helps with the circulation mm. to the scalp. Yeah, uh, I, I found, uh, Seamus, uh, so, some of the cheapo shampoos. You have the cheapo shampoos. They make the yeah. problem worse. You're yeah. chasing your own yeah. tail. Yeah. Uh, the, the one or two, I'd rather not mention their names, but extremely well advertised uh, and featuring men in them sometimes mm. uh, in the past <laughs> with dandruff. Uh, and, uh, well, frankly, they're a con. Well, yeah. that's exactly, you know, the, going back to the baby shampoo, for example, the reason why the baby shampoo is harsher is because it's specifically designed for young babies to, to get rid of the cradle cap. So it's a little harsher yeah. to So what ends up happening for people with dandruff, often it can cause more inflammation or irritation and the skin produces more oil and the problem gets worse and worse. So you need a very mild shampoo. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Seamus. That, that's 
extremely helpful. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much, Nita, Seamus. Um, uh, my other observation on Champa, the recommendation of uh, my particular boudoir that I go to. Um, uh, I basically buy the shampoo that they've got. It may cost three, four times as much, but I, I tell you what, it's in another league. Mm -hmm. It's in another league. You yeah. get, you get, you get what, what you pay for. You get what you pay for. It, 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 